this episode to be brought out today, but I guess somebody subbed it. Don't know who. Um, why not? So this episode seven, at least since episode three. <laughs> hype, hype as hell, man. Really, the first half was okay. Not the most entertaining part. It was mostly fan service for everybody. We didn't see any booze, and it's just like Milotis, he just somehow, I don't know if he's like part magician or something, but he somehow took off Elizabeth's panties without, I don't know how, I, I'm still baffled by that. Really, that's, that's pretty good. He did it, uh, these gnomes came, I guess they could shapeshift, confused everybody, and you know, yada, 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 I don't know what wants to hear about that. Well, we do want to hear, we get introduced to our brand new character, Diana, the NB. The uh, Snake of Envy. See, he looks awesome. And, uh, <laughs> it's pretty funny. Um, I'm still wondering how this huge, giant girl has a crush on this little puny elf. I'm still wondering, how does that happen? First of all, Milio is, is all that. You know, he's strong, I get that. He's fucking OP. But he's a perv. <laughs> um, he's a womanizer, somehow. And he's small. So, you know, I don't know how that happened. I really want to see how she actually fell in love with this guy. I really want to see that actually, I'm very interested. But you know Diana, she's a cool character. She has her own quirk, um, she loves pork. I guess that's the gag. She loves um, Miloides. She kind of abuses him, bah, 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 you know, kicks his ass all the time. And pretty funny stuff, man, pretty funny stuff. And I was expecting that, you know, just meeting a new member for the Seven Deadly Sins. What I didn't expect though was Gil Thunder to appear. And, okay, with Gil Thunder we get some backstory seeing that his dad died. And, you know, we go back in time, you know. Woo! Ten years ago, I guess, you know, Gil Thunder saw his dad dead. He was, he was, um, hanging on the wall with all these swords, spears on his chest, throughout his body. The seven deadly sins were the, actually the ones that actually got the blame for his murder. And as always, man, we see these kind of things happen in anime, you know, when... When somebody dies, they blame the opposing party. But with this, same thing with in other enemies, it's gonna be an inside job. Somebody from inside the palace, the government, whatever you wanna call it, is probably the one actually committed this crime. And they blamed it all on the seven deadly sins. They planned it out perfectly. It's most likely that's gonna happen. Uh, obviously, it can't be them. You know, seven deadly sins. That's the thing that actually confirms that is Meliodas doesn't remember what actually happened. So most likely, the one that actually did the murder knocked them out. Wiped his memories out, everybody's memories out, in fact, and yeah, he got away with it. Now we're gonna see where this develops. Now, what the thing is, we get some information at the very, very end, because you know, we, it was a good fight. I loved the fight. The animation looked nice, it was fluid, it was vivid. Um, I loved it. Um, it just brings my hopes up to see like the better of the fight. So, when it, it does go down, when the real fights go down, it's gonna look marvelous. Believe me, it looked nice, and this fight wasn't supposed to be all out, but it really did look good. But, you know, at the very end, we see that Gil Thunder actually had the advantage. He took down Meliodas, which was very surprising. He actually cut him on the back. He started bleeding. But there was still a little bit more after the ending in which we see that <laughs> Meliodas, man. Meliodas is a fucking troll, man. He, he's cunning. This was a cunning person, this was, which is why I really enjoy his character. The only thing I don't really enjoy about it is that he's a huge perv. And I don't like Elizabeth. That's pretty much it. I don't know what that has to do with uh, Melodis, but Elizabeth, she's becoming. I'm not liking her. I'm not liking her character. She, she, she. It's like she lets herself get sexual harassed by him. I don't know. I know. I know the classic Cinderella thing is a cliche as fuck, but at least they have some self-respect. You get me? In her case, <laughs> pretty much no self-respect at all. But in Guild Thunder, he actually reveals some secrets about the Seven Deadly Sins. According to him, one of them's already dead. Yeah, which is very I one of them's already dead, which is kind of disappointing because I really wanted to see him. Um, I think it was the, the sloth guy. The sloth guy is already dead. He's out. One of them is trapped in a prison, and the other three are on a loose. But he has an idea where two of those three are, and plus you know Meliodas and Diane that makes seven exactly. So with that info already revealed, Meliodas already has an idea where to look at next. He was playing possum. This food wasn't actually hurt. He got up pretty quickly. So the fight will continue on, but looking at the preview for next week, the fight will not continue that long. Cause man, awesome episode! I really did enjoy it, and a lot of people are not giving enough credit to this series. A lot of people are saying it's boring. It's boring. It's boring. It's boring. All right, every single stunner I've seen 
starts off fucking boring. <laughs> Let me get that out, all right? Fairy tales start out fucking boring. And a lot of people like fairy tales. I'm not a fairy tale fan. Well, to a lot of you people, you guys love fairy tale. But that shit started off boring as hell, man. Really. It's the third episode, they were fighting monkeys. How is it not boring? Third episode here, they're fighting the fucking main antagonist. How is that boring? Um, One Piece, one of the best shonens ever. It started off really slow. Uh oh. So you know, you guys gotta chill. You know, you guys are complaining about the the the, the subs. Uh, I don't really care about that. But you guys saying this is boring. Of course, it's gonna be boring. It's, it's adapting it well. This is a very good adapted anime. So I'd rather have it like this than have it fucking rushed like Tokyo Ghoul. But yeah, but yeah, yeah, pretty much it. What do you guys think? You guys agree with me or not? Like, subscribe if you guys want to for more anime stuff. Thanks again. Thank you for the video. Peace.